Wow. Oh my God. Late, late, hypnoates. What, honey? And yes, I'm wearing a wig in 100 degrees. Don't at me. It doesn't feel thick at all. Oh, not y'all putting me on to something that I did not have. Wow, this looks really, really freaking good. Yo, so I took a poll on my IG stories and asked you all what foundation you wanted me to use in a 12 plus hour wear test in the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation took the cake. So here we are. If you're new here, my name is Ben Adibia and I do videos on all things beauty, fashion, perfume, all of it. I'm on IG and I'm also on TikTok. Make sure you follow me there. Subscribe here if you love this video. I grabbed two different shades of this Dior foundation. I've never tried it. I've heard good things about it. I have two colors. I have I have 8N and 9N, okay? Because neutral is more fitting for my skin tone. And I now understand why you all wanted me to use this in the long day wear test because on the back of the box, it says that this is a waterproof, sweat resistant formula. It has a natural glow finish. Oh dear God, I don't want to glow. It's a hundred outside. So in order to get light coverage, you use your fingers and dab one layer of foundation and massage onto face. In order to get medium coverage, you apply two layers with a flat brush from center of the face outwards for full perfection coverage use a round brush and apply up to three layers in circular motions okay so let's see what this is talking about this is 8n this is 9n <sighs> i think 8n might be my color although you know it's inside the tube so there's no telling really what it looks like it says you gotta shake it i'm not gonna put this on my body i don't need it on the body we do have to say that even if we're doing a foundation wear test I'm going to put on a primer. I'm going to put on a powder. I'm going to put on a setting spray. I'm priming my oily areas. This is the NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop Old Stop. So it's not a pure wear test. I don't even believe anyone does pure wear tests. We're not gonna just wear the foundation outside. We're gonna build our whole entire face. So keep that in mind with any wear test and obviously with this one. And yes, I'm wearing a wig in 100 degrees. Don't at me. I am headed to a concert today. <laughs> so it's gonna be a long day, okay? Hence why I feel like it's a perfect day to do a wear test. Alrighty, I'm already feeling like AN is my color. Oh yes, it already looks so good. Okay, good, so I can return 9N because this is not going to fit me in the winter time. I just already, I just know. When you, when you have enough foundations and do what I do, you can just look and know. So I'm gonna return that one. And to me, the price wasn't atrocious, honestly, for a luxury foundation. It was not atrocious. I always do a flat kabuki brush when I apply my foundation, unless I'm doing a cream where I would use a sponge, but flat kabuki, this is Sigma. I'll link everything below, including this brush. Wow. It looks gorgeous. It's a liquid. It's a highly concentrated liquid. So it's not a creamy formula like, for instance, NARS Soft Matte. It's a liquid. And when I say highly concentrated, what I mean is, even though it may feel runny, it's highly concentrated, so it, you're, you're getting a lot more pigment. You don't need it to be thick in order to feel like, oh, this is going to cover or give me full coverage. This looks really good. Wowzers. Oh, not y'all putting me on to something that I did not have. Wow, this looks really, really freaking good. Similar to Estee Lauder. I hadn't ever tried it and now y'all got me hooked. So the consistency of this versus that one is different. This is more liquidy, loose, put it that way. It's more loose, whereas the other one is a little bit more thick, but not as thick as, like I said, the NARS Soft Matte. And it really is up to you on what you prefer in terms of the consistency of the product. This does feel light. So there is a difference when you wear something that is thicker versus something that is more loose like this. It's giving you coverage. It doesn't feel thick at all. It doesn't feel creamy. It just feels like loose. Do you understand that? Does that make sense? Comment and let me know. All right, a little for the forehead. I normally put this on the back of my hand, but because it has a squeeze out tube, I just feel like squeezing it onto my face. Oh, this is a great color. Wow. Oh my gosh. The, the shade of this is reminding me of 
the Makeup Forever HD Skin. And that is a little bit more creamy than this, just a little, but the shades are exact. Wow, this is looking amazing. Okay, so you know that I, let me do the back of my hand because I'm not able to control it when I put the foundation on my face, it's just weird. This is freaking good. And you know what, because it is a face and body product, I get why it is a loose formula like this. This is great because you don't want a creamy pigmented color on your body and you see it's drying fast but not in a way where it you gotta hurry up and it's gonna become cakey and crumbly when you blend over it even though it has dried because i went back over my cheek as you saw to make sure that i have the full coverage and i'm it's not it doesn't look terrible it's not like a fenty soft matte that is gonna give you high power matteness and then you cannot go over it or else you're gonna disrupt the whole situation it's not like that and i do like the pro filter fenty foundation because it's freaking dry. In fact, if I wasn't doing this review today, this wear test, I would have been wearing that because I know that that thing is dry. It's giving me a light glow, nothing too tremendous, nothing too disturbing, a light glow. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Links are below. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do our fragrance of the day. Today's fragrance is going to be Kayali Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. So freaking good. I had a sample of this. They sent me the large bottle. I was going to buy it and I'm grateful to have gotten it for free, honey. This is so freaking good, baby. I am spraying my, my skin and my robe. I'm going to spray more when I actually change and get dressed because duh, you want your fragrance to be all over your body and all over your clothes. Close. <laughs> Duh, hello, and up in this wig. Wow, and even as it's drying more, it's looking less satin in a good way. Wow, I'm looking up close. Nah, son. Yo, it is medium because I could put some more on my chin and around my nose. It is medium, but you know what? I'm gonna leave it because we're gonna build up with all the different products anyway, so no need to do all that. But I do see the medium. Maybe if I put another layer, I could get the full coverage that they're talking about, but because I'm gonna be out all day and going to a concert, honey, I'm not trying to do all that. Today, today, we can do all that another time. I'm gonna let you watch me do the rest of my face and you'll see what I'm using, of course, and then we're gonna hop into the wear test. <laughs> and let's see how this thing gonna perform, honey. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so you've seen me get up to this point. This is my soft glam look that I do all the time. The eyeshadow may or may not be a part of it, but this is the soft glam look, okay? I'm trying out this late, late hypnoates. What? Honey, this French Lancome mascara for the first time. It is very heavy. This glass is, wow, quality, quality. So let's see, is this going to replace my 
lawless one and done. I mean, let's find out. I mean, this is nice. If you like for your mascara to keep your lashes looking somewhat individual, then this would be nice. I will not be using this on my bottom lashes because it is not giving the amount of volume that I would like. This doesn't feel like it's a one of a kind though. I mean, there are other mascaras that are also equally as nice. Okay, KK, okay, okay. the face is done. I'm gonna fluff out my hair, put on my outfit, and then we go ahead to the concert and all the other festivities. But wait, let's just gag a second over the face right now because it looks absolutely amazing. Yo, so let's talk about how it's 4.30 in the morning. I am so tired. Went to the concert, went out, all this stuff. So it is very late. This was a long wear test. I blotted my face so many times. Today, because I sweated so many times. This is definitely a glowy foundation satin finish. My skin is dewy looking. You tell me what you think of the skin right now. I used the oil absorbing sheets and I may have taken off a little bit of my brows. I don't know. The brows look greasy. <laughs> my face looks greasy too, but in a nice way. Way. So if you have dry skin, this is perfect for you. I did put a gloss on my lip and it just looks all blended in right now. It's it's almost 24 hours for God's sake. Okay, like here we are. But I like how this makeup looks, I have to say. You comment and let me know. The foundation, I think it's A1. It is dewy, however, so it's something that I will save, like how I'm saving the HD skin from Makeup Forever because it's dewy and I don't wanna be dewy in the summertime. I've blotted my face maybe four times the whole night and that's a lot of blotting. <laughs> Granted, I did sweat a lot too and the makeup was still intact, so that's nice. But for the oiliness, it's not something that I enjoy. And you can tell my, my throat is, I was screaming. The concert was really, really, really nice. Burning Boy concert. So yeah, this is the face at 4.32 in the morning, okay? You comment and let me know what you think about it. And if you like how long this wear test was, this is quite serious. This is quite intense. I'm gonna wash my face off and go to bed. So make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. And also comment and let me know what you think about how this makeup wore through all of the sweating that I did throughout this whole entire day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.